All right, we're on the 12th hole here at Abercrombie Country Club. Going to show you guys holes 12 through 16 today. Tyler's on the tee, fresh off a of birdie. Uh, it's kind of a dog leg left. There's water down on the left. Tyler's going to be about 20 yards short of those carts, hopefully. Where'd that end up? All right, Tyler's fired that down the left side. Might have jinxed him with the whole birdie talk. I hit it perfect. <laughs> oh, that's left as well. It's caught those trees there. Just about there. Yeah. Here comes Bruce. I don't think I carried the pot. <laughs> Next sure up, we have Ben Cameron. He's playing with his balls in his pocket right now. His mother couldn't afford any toys, so she just cut holes in his jeans. <laughs> From a life of poverty to the professional Pictou County Golf Association tour. <laughs> oh, he's visualizing the shot, thinking about the water on the left. Just in case you're wondering, that was the shot direction. The fairway's there, and Ben's over here. Again, shot, fairway, Ben. All right, here's Bruce's second. He's missed the fairway left. He's got to go up over these trees. Kind of chunk that a little. It is safe. He's uh, just inside the 100 in the fairway. I'll have a better angle from over there. And here we are at Ben Cameron's second shot. Lucky for him, a squirrel ran out of the woods with his ball. In case you didn't know, that was a practice swing. He's preparing to go. Oh my! That might not be on the green. He does like to go right today, folks. All right, here's Tyler. Caught the pond. He's got about the same heritage as I have. The problem is that tree in front of us, so he's got to get up over that with a pitching wedge, I'd say, to a blue flag. Top that. Oh, up this way. All right, here's Bruce's third. Blue flag about a hundred yards away. Oh, good shot. Bite. Yeah, he flew that all the way back there. It might be a little long. Could be good though. All right, up to the green. Here's Tyler's fourth. Bruce and I are both long. There's the blue flag back there. It's a decent pitch. It took a little bit of a kick to the right, but he's going to have about a six footer left. Here we have Bruce coming onto the green. Just went a little bit long with his wedge. Good putt. All right, here we have Ben Cameron off the green. for an epic long pot. Great pot. Not too shabby at all. Over there we have Tyler, 
who appears to be playing for Team America or some bullshit. It is a big spider. <coughs> he's lining up the ball like he's gonna drive us. All right, 13th hole, short dog leg left. Bruce is doing some bank crane squat stirs a second ago. <laughs> Check that video out if you haven't seen it. Uh, the green's up around the left corner there, protected by a few bunkers. Tyler's just got three wood. Hopefully play a little draw. Oh, he hit it dead straight. Pushed it up the right. Whoa, that has caught that telephone pole next to that yellow tree right there at the corner. It kicked right. There is another hole over there, so he might have a shot, but he's going to have to come all the way over those trees to do so. Next up is Bruce, also with three wood. Same game plan. Well, I prefer not to be over on number two. Bruce has... <laughs> That's so high. Straight up the gut. Yep. Middle of the fairway, say 80 yards out. Just kind of in the middle of the shot there. Next up, we have the elusive Ben Cameron. He is a hermit that only comes out of the mountains once or twice a year to hit the golf ball. As he lines up, facing number two. He was surely landed dead in the middle of the fairway. Silence from the gallery. Folks, I know you couldn't see that, but it was brilliant. It's in the fairway like I said it would be. That's so effective. All right, so here is Tyler's tee shot. Here is the stand of trees he has to go over. And the green is up there through that gap. He's basically got to hit a high draw with a wedge to get it up over those in a hurry. Oh. It's, all, it's short of the green, but it's over. Middle of the fairway. Good shot. I was waiting to see something come out there. Bruce and I caught the fairway like you're Ooh. supposed to. All right. Here we are approximately 110 yards from the hole. Ben scolded to here. Scalded? He's doing this mating ritual dance right now. I hate you, Bruce. And that is on the right cart path. Alright, here's Bruce's second. 60 yards left to the green. It's protected by a bunker he's going up with. Sand wedge. Look at that face, folks. Look at that face. Bruce, what are your thoughts? Bruce's routine was a little quick there. <laughs> There's the walk of shame. I might just stay here and let him hit again. Okay. Why would I want to wait? Bruce is third now. Oh no. <laughs> He's broken. Alright, here's Tyler's third after escaping over the trees. We're still kind of laughing at Bruce, but he's pretty upset, so we'll leave that be. Yeah, nice shot. The flag's just up at the top of the tier there. Tyler's played a beauty. It's going to be about a five footer for par. All right, here's Ben's third shot. Oh, sorry. He had to drop. Excellent. Slow down. 
All right, here's Bruce here on the slope, coming across to the flag. Tyler and I both have four footers. Actually, Tyler's a bit closer. Not a bad roll, just a bit short. Good finish. And we're on the green. Ben Cameron is lining up his putt. Part two of the ritual mating dance is to <laughs> smile wryly at the ball and then touch it gently. Part two is the whole putt. Yeah, Next up, <laughs> we have Tyler Streit. Yes, folks, that is a purple glove. <coughs> oh my god, he made it. Alright, folks, here we have Ben Cameron lining up. This is the ultra pan shot. Pro Tracer on this one? Pro Tracer is currently broken. Oh, no. this club. I'm not even sure what to say to that. Alright, I, I went with the sensible play, hitting hybrid off the tee, and screwed it up completely. Tyler and Bruce are not so sensible, they both have stick. Just up the right side, not turning in. In the trees where the cart path kind of goes out to the right there, in between those two orange trees. Tyler's blaming it on the ball. Oh, the pinnacle? <laughs> yes, the pinnacle. Pinnacle golds. And Bruce has hit hook. Taking some leaves down with it. Great shot. Alright, here's Bruce's second off the beaten path. The flag's up behind those red trees. Where's that? Oh, yeah. He ripped it. Right side of the green. Good shot. And here we go, Ben Cameron's second shot. Looked good, folks. It looked good. It could be on the green. What'd you say mine was? All right, here comes Tyler. Second shot out of the rough. Well inside the hundred, maybe seventy yards left to the front flag up there. Just short. Yeah. Here's Tyler's third. Not the best wedge out of the rough. Kind of dug in. A little chunky. Just up to the green there. Flag sticks maybe 20 feet on. Yeah, he's played that well. Maybe five feet left for par. All right, here we are on the green. We're just waiting for Ben Cameron to arrive at his putt, which is a little ways away from the pin, which is, which we'll, we'll get there. We're getting there. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Before I hold this, you have to buy me a Big Mac meal. And he's back there. I'm not worried about him holding it. If he comes within a foot, I'll be amazed. No native ritual mating dance with the ball, so it probably won't come near it. That was excellent. Shockingly. All right, Bruce coming down to the hole. He's got to come down a tier and it's going to slide a lot to the left. 
Ooh, that's not enough. It's October, so the greens aren't exactly fast, and Bruce has left that a mile short. <laughs> Here comes Bruce for par. Whoa, the lip out. That's a shame. Take your take your bogey. Tyler coming for par as well. I've got a par putt about five feet left. He's burned about ten edges today, literally. Here we are, folks. Ben Cameron from eight and a half inches away. Will he sink this? Oh, folks, nothing but net. All right, 15th hole, 160 yards uphill, three tier green bunker on the right. The flag is on the backmost right tier. It's really tricky to get to. That's just a bit fat, headed towards the right side of the bunker. He's a little short, but oh well. You can tell by Bruce's facial reaction that it wasn't exactly <coughs> the shot he wanted. Flag's blue just in back there. Here comes Tyler with eight iron? Six iron. Oh, goodness. Oh my giddy up. Playing a big old draw, nice shot. <laughs> Tyler played a draw off the slope to the right of the green. It's trickled down through the rough onto the tier. He's gonna have about a 10 foot putt for birdie. What a great shot. All right, here we are at the historic number 15 at Abercrombie Country Club. And Ben Cameron is next on tee. No mating rituals, just solid golf here, folks. Distance is good, however, he hang, hung out on the right side of the uh, bunker. Ben Cameron lining up for his second shot. I, I am not in a good spot, so shit might get shaky fast. I was absolutely correct. Next up we have Tyler Strait, just off the green. We thought it was an epic shot, apparently it wasn't. But here we go. Excellent. That is a good par. Alright, we're now on Ben Cameron again. For his third shot for par, this is a tricky one. Oh! Are you kidding me? He was robbed at the hole. <laughs> the ball took a look and didn't go. We put these batteries in about 20 minutes ago. They're almost dying. Uh, don't buy Duracells, I guess. We're still waiting for the Golf Channel crew to show up. They're a bit late. Bruce coming down for par. Hey, great par. All right, 360 yard par four. It's a dog leg right. Uh, the fairway ends with water about 260 yards out and it's downhill. We all have to lay up. Tyler's got hybrid. Beauty. Nice. A little high draw off the trees back into the middle of the fairway. And it is deep. Really deep. Here comes Bruce with his first shot off the tee. A high draw with his three wood. It's a mile in the air, it might be long. 
that actually went nowhere. Tyler called Bruce a uh, nothing. A Lydia Co. I think was the terminology used. All right, next up on the tee is Ben Cameron. Boo. Not cooch. It's boo. He's got the hybrid again that he's sampling from the building that you start at. Pro shop. Or that. That started off not very well, but might work. Except for that knock at the end. Might be an issue. All right, Bruce is second out of the fairway. The green's over water down there. Sand wedge. A mile in the air, headed at the right side of the green, drawing back. Just on the front fringe, it's a pretty decent shot. He's going to have about a 30-foot putt. All right, Tyler ran through the fairway uh, into the left rough. He, the trees aren't going to bother him. They might visually, but as far as the shot goes, he's fine. The flag's in the middle of the green there. It all slopes towards the water, which is down before the hole. Sand wedge from about 120 yards. Lob wedge. Lob wedge. Lob wedge sorry. Correction. And, and it is on the front of the green. What are the odds? Here's Bruce's birdie putt from just off the green. Got to go up a tier. And it breaks substantially to the left. He's hammered that. That is. That's an aggressive stroke from Bruce. That's about 10 feet by the hole. Next up is Tyler. Similar shot to Bruce's. Just off the green, he's got putter. The fringe won't be anything of consequence. Uh, up a tier, breaking to the left, down towards the water. Pretty good putt, just by the hole. By six feet. Eh, yeah, it may have ran on a bit more. I'm just up here on the fringe, gonna have about a 15 footer for birdie. Here we wait. Wait for Ben to come for his fourth shot. Par. All right, here we are, folks. Ben Cameron. Holy shit! <coughs> A cart just flipped on number two. Show that to the pro shop. <laughs> all right, here we are, all lined up for Ben Cameron's fourth shot after some numpty roll the cart. Excellent pot. Alright, so Bruce is coming down the slope here for par. Someone just flipped a card over there, so we are checking that out. Yeah, just a little scared of that one. It's a tricky putt. This green's got a big false front on it. Tyler now for his par as well. Still can't believe someone flipped a power card over there. <laughs> Jesus. That's the face of a man who's been beaten up by golf Jesus. Alright, 17th hole, par 5. Dog leg right. Just pulled it a little left. It's going to be up around the fairway bunkers. <coughs> no, 
I'm just not happy where that is. I know exactly where that's going to be. Oh. It's not good, is it? We had to play from there. Yeah. Uh, Invitational. And the only reason we continued and didn't quit is because you hit a tree and the ball came backwards. <laughs> Bruce had a hook. Bruce and Tyler are pretty close to the same area down there. Here we have Ben hitting his tee shot in 17th hole. Here we have Bruce for second shot trying to hit over these trees here. Here we are, Tyler, shot number two. Difficult shot behind the trees. And beside the trees. Excellent shot into the middle of the fairway. Good layup. And second shot for Ben Cameron from the rough. Excellent shot. Good layup. Good shot. Alright, Tyler's third. Around 100 yards, front flag. Lob wedge. Oh, it hit right into the fringe and came off. Alright, Bruce is about to play up. He's about 20 yards short. I'm in the rough there. Tyler's just short in the fairway. Land it short, run it on. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, fuck. Never mind. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. Ben's third shot out of the rough. Very tricky. A couple of yards away. And he left it short. May have been because of the earthquake that just hit the camera. And here's Tyler's birdie shot. He's not on the green yet though. So, you know, maybe he'll hole out with a four iron. Not too bad at all. Next up, we have Ben Cameron. Again, not too bad. All right, I royally screwed up that flop shot. Took a par. Bruce has got his birdie putt here from just off the fringe. We thought his pitch was gonna be good and then it just checked up a bunch and trickled off. And short. We've all left, all left our putts short. Tyler thinks Bruce miss hit his putter here. I did. He did miss hit his putter. Yeah. The face is broken. <laughs> You're gonna have to pick up a new putter before Lost Creek. <coughs> Here's Tyler. I know you guys can't see the hole, but I'm not moving now. Yeah, in the hole. Terrible power for me. All right, final hole of the day. 18. Ben Cameron is on the tee. Oh my, giddy up. Terrible. It wasn't that good. That's terrible. Judging by his response, that shot was shite. Next up, like 160 left. next up, Tyler Strice. <laughs> Hopefully he can hit it farther 
then 140 yards. <coughs> I hit that easily 200. Maybe 201. That looked okay, but he's not happy with it. I suspect it's in the right woods. Yeah, my driver's been pretty pretty hit and miss all day. I have not hit many fairways. Anyway, scrapping along. Here comes Bruce. Stick in hand. He is going to join Tyler in the right woods, I'd say, unless he gets a fortuitous bounce. Oh, <laughs> there's the knock of the tree. Uh, we'll find out. Bruce is in his natural habitat, the woods. Found a top plate, it's his favorite ball. Look at that face. Tyler just threw the ball back in, he's trying to get Bruce to play fetch. Here we have Ben Cameron with his second shot, roughly 160 yards into this par four. See the green up there? Great shot. These two are arguing about where their tee shots ended up. Bruce dropped. Tyler actually found it is in here on this maintenance Did you say path. Found, it? <coughs> found and then I stuttered because I have a cough. Did you find it? Uh, I had a perfect shot in. Can't really tell from there. I'm gonna have about a ten foot birdie putt. Move out of the way for Bruce to play. Yeah, you were dead middle in the car side, actually. Like in that little piece of grass? Because that's where it's at. Yep. Yeah. Uh, punch it right out at me. I'm watching. Tyler played that directly under my feet. It's going to have about 120 left out of the fairway. Here comes Bruce. Sam Wedge? No. That has caught the rough just short of that bunker. What club, Bruce? 60, 60 degree. I can't you were trying to All right. There. Tyler's got a really rough lie here. Okay, Ball's a mile below his feet. He's got lob wedge. Oh, great contact. That's. It just barely missed the green left, but off that lie, that's such good contact. And now, Bruce. Forlornly walking in search of his ball. Again. He wasn't born in the woods, but they quickly adopted him as one of their own. Here Bruce comes. It's on the... It's front of the green, about 20 feet below the hole. He's going to have a shot. Sure you don't want to caddy for me next year? No, you're caddying. All right, Tyler's got the fringe. I will caddy for you. Bruce is about 20 feet below the hole. I hit 8 iron from 155 to about 6 feet. Looking to make that for birdie. Tyler's trying to save quite the par after punching out of the woods and then hitting a wedge up to the fringe. He's got to come over a hump. It's all breaking to the right. It's a pretty good roll. Oh, it had a chance. Bruce coming up to the hole. Par putt as well. His putter face is broken. The, the inserts actually popped out. So that's not working too well. He gave it a run. You can take that for bogey, Bruce. Here we are, 18. Ben for a birdie putt. Didn't hit it. And he hit it like an old woman's arm. 